Hey everyone, welcome back. Mike Schultz with you once again talking about the weather and it looked cloudy and threatening all day long, but nothing happened. We are looking at some light snow moving off to the uh, northeast of the Fairbanks area right now. Some of it might work its way back in over the night, but uh, no accumulation expected and temperatures should be a slightly a little warmer. We'll tell you about that in just a little bit. Here's our photograph for tonight. A beautiful, beautiful shot here. This one by Robert Marzak, sun through the trees, almost bright enough to read something. It's just, just a gorgeous shot. And as always, if you have a photograph to share, well, please send it to photos at ktbf11.com. We're also looking for those Christmas photos, so don't forget those too. Speaking of photos, uh, once again, we're looking at a photo finish as far as the temperatures are going. Today's high one degree above the low last night, nine below. The record high 41, that was in 2005. The record low 53 below in 1946. Your sunrise and sunset about three hours and 47 minutes. That is a loss of one and a half minutes from yesterday. Here is once again a reminder for our Fab Photo calendar too. We still have uh, some photo or calendars available at Personnel Plus, Ice Fog Vapor, 907 Organic, Big Daddy's Barbecue, Graphic North, and the Prescription Center. They're free. And they make great stocking stuffers and they got some fantastic photos on them. And our photograph for today, looking at, out from outer space on the satellite picture, you can see an area of low pressure spinning around the Gulf of Alaska, helping to bring some moisture across from the east to the west. Some of that is, like I said, developing some snow shower activity to the northeast of the Fairbanks. Banks area out to the west getting ready for another storm system to be uh, really hammering the west coast that'll be moving in by tomorrow. What's going on across the rest of the state? Well over southeast Alaska some rain falling around Ketchikan just partly cloudy skies in the Juneau area over the Anchorage Bowl cloudy skies a Kodiak looking at some showery conditions 35 degrees there up and down the Aleutian chain around 30 degrees for Cold Bay and temperatures in the single digits for the west coast from Bethel up to Nome. A little warmer at Barrow, 11 degrees above, and Fairbanks, 4 degrees with 3 degrees at Fort Yukon. Lower 48 weather, some activity moving across the central plains, but once again, out to the west, that's where all the activity is going, and there's a lot of moisture moving ashore with this next system, as you can see here, bringing with it a mix of rain and snow and wind all up, the, up and down the west coast from San Francisco to the north. And as you can see here, it's unsettled for tomorrow with moist air continuing to flow off the Pacific Ocean. There's your rain and your snow line, and that will be once again be controlled by the jet stream. As you can see, a warmer air returns to the central plains, but still another pocket of cold air moving across the northwest and over the northeast. Blustery conditions also expected. Time once again for our weather fact for tonight. And would you believe in 2008, Las Vegas, Nevada had more than three inches of snow falling and it closed highways and schools. It wasn't the record though. The record was seven and a half inches. That was in 1979, but still that's a lot of snowfall for Las Vegas, Nevada. Again, thanks to Mount McKinley Bank for sponsoring our kids watch each night. And a reminder when they return from Christmas vacation, January 5th, we'll be talking with the kids from Salsha Elementary School. All right, here's your forecast for the rest of Alaska for tomorrow. The, the northern section, chance of snow at Barrow, mostly sunny skies in Nome and some light snow at Fort Yukon. Here in the interior, we'll be looking at uh, mostly cloudy skies for Fairbanks, some flurries for Healy and Delta Junction. So not, nothing really exciting going on. Over southeast Alaska, it looks like chance of snow in Juneau and rain and snow expected for Ketchikan. While over to the southwest part of the state, a mixed bag of weather there too. Snow in Bethel, rain for Cold Bay, and rain and snow at Kodiak. So you got all types of stuff going on in that area. Over the south central regions, so looking at uh, some cloudy skies for Anchorage and some snow showers for Valdez and Homer. Okay, it's a Thursday night, which means it's time for our road conditions. Brought to you by the good folks at Mongold Insurance and Jose Body and Paint. On the Dalton Elliott Highways, icy spots, snow packed and snow on the roadway. So pretty slippery conditions there. And speaking of slippery, it's slippery on the Steeson Richardson highways also with icy patches and snow on the road. And over the uh, Parks Highway, glazed roads, icy patches, and again, slippery conditions. So keep that in mind if you're planning a trip down to the south. And our forecast for the Fairbanks area for tonight, three degrees below zero, cloudy skies and flurries or light snow possible. Can't rule that out. Tomorrow's forecast, five above with a slight chance of snow. And the extended forecast for the five-day period looking pretty warm for Saturday, 12 degrees with Sunday and Monday right on Tuesday through Tuesday and Wednesday. Looking at temperatures in the single digits. Now, you're talking last night about 30 below for the overnight low on Christmas Eve. That has been revised. It doesn't look that bad now. I told you things can change. And it looks like the overnight low for uh, 
well, right around Christmas Eve will be around 15 below zero, which is darn sight warmer than 30 below.